Greetings, one and all, and welcome to the second video on the channel discussing the upcoming game, Drone. This time around, we're going to be taking a quick look at the gameplay teaser recently released on the 19th. So this is the first true gameplay we've seen, it's the gameplay prototype, so just like in the last video, please bear in mind everything we're about to see is very, very open to change, and things may simply not look like this in the end product. But with that being said, everything so far, at least in the trailer, looks absolutely amazing and very loyal to the announcement trailer which we have covered before. There will likely be a link to that in the description or perhaps on the screen right now. So let's get straight into the main points I would like to bring up as the full trailer loops in the background. The first point I would like to bring up may be a little bit surprising in that it's less about the gameplay itself and more about the map itself. On the map I am really happy to see that there is a wide variety in the style of the terrain. You have some areas which are very very close quarters, very difficult to navigate, but then you have areas which are far more open with some trees and other foliage, but definitely with very open areas which you can exploit if you would like to. Of course, being out in the open like that would be a massive disadvantage, but if used correctly, it does offer a lot of variety depending on how you're building your drone. And on that note, I would also like to say that after the gameplay was finished, after I had finished watching it, I was a little bit confused in exactly how the drones would handle, especially when it comes to the spins and the ability to simply not hit things. Will there be some way of compensating, or would it be completely based on player's skill? Well, when I went to the official videos page, I had a look at the comments, and Drone the Game actually answered my question without even knowing it. So to directly quote from them. There are stabilizers and auto correction components, auto lift, auto pitch, roll, your drift compensators, etc, and they can be added to the drone build. The player can decide whether to add these components or not. Every component has costs like points, heat, noise production, weight, etc. There won't be any automations like pathfinding. So that is really, really good to know. You do have the option to make your driving experience a little bit easier, but it will come at a cost. And actually one of those points I find really interesting in the form of the noise production, because this means different drones will make different levels of noise and thus be a little bit easier or more difficult to pick up on when they're trying to hide in ambush. Which brings me to my second main point in the form of the radar. If you look at the bottom of the screen, at the bottom of the gameplay, you will see there is definitely a radar system in play, and for the first few watches, I couldn't quite understand how it was actually working. It seemed a little bit off, it seemed a little bit random when it was actually detecting where the drones are, until I watched a few other people's commentaries, I looked at a few comments on the video itself, and it turns out the radar is using a sort of line of sight system, in that if there's a drone hiding behind a wall for instance, the radar most likely won't pick it up, which is absolutely perfect in my opinion, because otherwise there's no real way to stealthily ambush opponents. Now they have spoken about the radar before briefly in previous comments and on the website, and it does seem like the radar will most likely be affected by modules you attach to your drones, both making them more stealthy or perhaps having a stronger radar will definitely come into the play, and once again, these will cost you either in terms of weight, noise production, heat, system points, all of these things, which really makes me happy to see, because I love the idea of customizability, and I think that's going to be one of the real strong points of this game. The next point is also very much about customizability, and this is with the idea of having multiple weapon types on the drone. It certainly seems like, in the trailer, it's very heavily implied that that drones can use multiple weapons, they're not bound to only one weapon type. I believe in the trailer we have seen a laser, a rocket, and a machine gun, which of course are pretty basic, pretty standard weapons you would certainly expect in a game like this. Once again, simply adding to the customizability, depending
depending on the situation you're in, which is very, very nice indeed. Now, the final note, which honestly may be the only negative note I could think of, is that ultimately, the damage system seems to be fairly basic, at least from what we can see in the current trailer. I've watched it a few times just to make sure I haven't missed anything, but if I have, I will of course put it in the description as a bit of a correction. But from what I can see, it seems like the drones have a bit of a static health system. And by that, I simply mean that the components don't seem to be taking damage independently, but instead, the drone itself seems to have an overall health pool in which, as soon as that reaches zero, the drone simply dies. Now, once again, even though I've only just mentioned it, this is very early on. This could be the final product in terms of how they're going to have the health system, or it could become more complex and have it so bits fall off as the combat goes. Honestly, I think that maybe the static health system, the idea of having an overall health bar, may be a little bit better than by components, but at the same time, I would like the customizability of weapons falling off, of parts of the drone flying off into the Aether and simply not being used, but we'll have to see as more gameplay is released. And that is pretty much all I really wanted to discuss and talk about for this particular trailer. It's been quite a nice trailer to watch, and it has made me a lot more optimistic on how the game is going to look at the end, and how faithful they are going to be to the original trailer. So, an absolute thumbs up from me. I'm going to keep on watching these as they come out with the more gameplay and more information, and I will try to keep you all updated as much as possible, as the first video had a very positive reception indeed and honestly, I just want to see this game released. It's going to be amazing. By the end of this year, we're going to have a new arena shooter based around drones, and that makes me very, very happy indeed. So, thank you all for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that trailer reaction and discussion videos like this one are something you would like to see on the channel in the future. Thank you again for watching. Link Links in the description, and goodbye.